Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you would have seen from the title, I'm going to show you how I do my everyday makeup look. Now I am definitely no makeup artist. So if you're watching this and you are a makeup artist, I'm sorry if I offend you and how I apply my makeup, but this is just how I create my look every day. Um, yeah, and I really hope you enjoy this. So thank you for asking for this video in advance and let's take it back to when I was makeup free. Oh my goodness, what do I look like? <laughs> right, first things first. Let me get my cream on my face. I have this, which is Bobbi Brown and it is kind of like a eye base. I don't even know if I am meant to do this in the right, like how I do it, but I just pop it down there and I actually put it all around my eye and I hope that it might <laughs> stop me from getting wrinkles and bags. I, when I apply things around my eyes, by the way, I am so gentle. I, my mum drummed it into me about being really gentle around your eyes so you don't pull against the muscle. Um, to make yourself have more bags. The cream I am using on my face is this Vitamin C Cream by Garnier. This has got Factor 50 in it, as you can see, and um, it's just an invisible daily UV cream. I know we live in England, but um, the sun rays still damage our faces. So I kind of get about that much, and then just pop it on. My makeup also has SPF in it as well, so I'm kind of, doubling up but I just love this cream and then over my eyes I literally just pat it because I've obviously got the um eye cream from Bobbi Brown a bit under my neck as well because your neck is your face right into my hairline then I'm going to turn the camera off for a second because I'm just going to let this soak in for a couple of minutes before I start putting on my makeup right okay so I have let my cream by the way, we've got a house full of people. So if you hear noises in the background, it's just everyone in the background. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna go in with base. I absolutely love Estee Lauder's Double Wear and I have got 2C3 Fresco. That is my color. I went in many, many years ago and got color matched. And um, this is the one that I've just stayed with all the time and I love it. And then I got this brush from It Cosmetics the other day. So it's got a big kind of blender brush on one side and then a smaller one that you can go into here or around the kind of creases as well. Absolutely love this. I'll link all of the products down, down below in my description box for you guys. Um, but yeah, this one, if you do like this double wear, it's got great coverage, then you need to go in and just get color matched to the right shade for your face. So I just put a little bit like this onto my brush. What's up, JJ? Oh, you're hungry, so you thought you could come upstairs to my bedroom and I could magically just get some food. This is what I mean, it's a You've school. You've been filming for so long. I haven't, I had a shower. <laughs> Go down and tell Dad, Dad's downstairs. He can look for, oh, there's a cock cross bun downstairs. Okay, well, you're just going to have to dig around, bud, because I'm a little bit busy. I'll be... Oh. <laughs> so, can you see? Look, I feel like this is such a good colour match. Obviously, it's not at all blended, but I do feel like it's a really, really good match for my skin. Um, I've tried so many different foundations and BB creams. This one is, like, kind of... <laughs> It is my everyday, but it's also not my everyday because I would wear this if I was going to an event or out in the evening, but I try to wear a BB cream if I'm um, day to day, sort of like a lighter one. This one's definitely quite like a lot heavier, so I feel like my skin doesn't breathe as well, but I just when I wear this, I do just feel like my skin looks really great and like I said it's got great coverage it lasts the whole day but yeah if I was just going to kind of be pottering around the house I'd probably just pop on a BB cream I'll link the BB cream down below in my description box as well I think it's actually a Bobbi Brown one that I use but I will confirm that down in my description box so I just blend this really really well and then rounded bit I'll just go in with the smaller side of my brush under my eyes on my eyebrows as well, because I don't want obviously a cloggy bit in the eyebrows down the neck so it blends well. And right into the hairline as well. Guys, you have to remember, this is my mirror. <laughs> I 
Hello. This is my mirror today. Usually I'm in my bathroom um, with a much bigger mirror, so I can't actually see that well. I really do take my hat off to all those people who are amazing at um, makeup. I would love to be good at makeup, but I'm just not. Right, now I'm going to give myself a little bit of colour with my bronzer. So this bronzer is from Estee Lauder. Um, it's a really, really lovely bronzer. And then I just apply it with my Bobbi Brown um, brush. As you can see, I'm not very loyal to any one brand. <laughs> I kind of have collected my makeup over years. And as one thing runs out, if I'm going past somewhere or if someone has recommended a uh, product to me, I will give it a whirl. So I'm not, um, I'm not like a dedicated person on one brand. When I do this, I kind of do like the figure of three, bit of a jawline as well. Now I'm going to put my bronzer on, no, my <laughs> blusher on. This is also an Estee Lauder blusher. Um, it's a lovely, lovely colour and it comes with this little brush as well. So I just put a little bit onto the brush and then I look like a funny, like this, and I just put it on my, the apples of my kind of cheek. And then finally, I have this Bobbi Brown highlighter. So I have this brush that is actually no brand and I just use a little one and just give my cheeks a bit of a highlight. bit on my nose and a bit up here as well. And that is my kind of base and blusher um, all done. So now what I'm going to do is move on to my eyebrows. So I absolutely love this product so much. It's one of my favorite products. And actually if I'm even not wearing much makeup in a day, I will always do my eyebrows because I feel like your eyebrows really do frame your face. So what I like to do is I like to get this eyebrow brush and then I just um, kind of tame the eyebrows first of all. So I, I'd really actually quite like to get my eyebrows tattooed. Um, I did get them tattooed many, many years ago but um, they went a bit orange, but I didn't have the strokes. I think I had it when they were kind of block filled in. So I, I've seen lots of people get the strokes and I would love to try it because my eyebrows are so uneven. And I would say that's actually the thing that takes me the longest when I do my makeup. Oh, let me show you. So this is a um, sculpting gel. It's an eyebrow sculpting gel by Beauty Pie. And it's got this little, you can get lots of different colors. It's got a nice little wand that's got the um, product on. So then when you are ready to do your eyebrows, it almost just gives them like a really natural brushed effect. So it just sort of darkens them a little bit. This is the medium that I have got. Uh, it's called Perfect Brow 1112. Um, they do a lighter one, they do a darker one. So, you know, it can completely match the tone of your hair and your eyebrows. But I mean, look at the difference between the two brows. So you can see that it just gives it so much more definition. And like I said, I really do feel like eyebrows do frame your face. So uh, I'm gonna go in and do the other one now. But honestly, like I said, it's my eyebrows that I feel are the hardest to do. They are so uneven and it, I think if I just got them tattooed, be one less thing for me to do, except it's quite expensive, so that's what puts me off. <laughs> Done. You guys would have seen in the past that I absolutely love my Beauty Pie eyebrow, um, eyebrow eyeshadow palette, but as you can see, I've nearly used up all of um, the light colour, which I love so much, but I do also use this dark colour a lot. But from Beauty Pie, what I have got now instead, well, I kind of use them in conjunction with each other, is I've got these cream eyeshadows. So I've got a lighter one and then I've got a brown. I get the lighter one here and then I put it at the top of my eyebrow arch like this. <clears throat> And then I also put it into the corner of my eye as well to kind of brighten my eye up. So as you can see, like that, um, don't be scared of this because obviously when it goes on, you think, oh my gosh, that looks terrifying. But then what I do is I get my blending brush. This again is unbranded. <laughs> I'll find one similar. And then I just go in with that. I blend it into my eyelid and then I obviously blend this part too as well. So that's that part done, but now we're going to break it up a little bit by adding in the brown. So again, this is from Beauty Pie. Um, 
they have lots of different colours of this as well, which is quite nice. So for this brown, I just pop it into the crease and then along the lash line as well. Again, don't let this freak you out <laughs> because I will start blending. I grab my blending brush. This is a Bobbi Brown um, eyeshadow blending brush. And then I just, I don't take it up to the arch. I take it into the um, kind of eye area instead the ball I just try and keep it like on the ball of the eye <laughs> I explain things so well one day I might surprise you all and do one of these and just get everything right what, what I'm saying hello oh I've got a coffee do you want you up here before you're coming down oh no I am coming down in a minute I shall do some eyeliner as well. So this is Estee Lauder as well. This is a double-ended liner, so you've got a darker brown and a lighter brown. As you can tell, I do like the brown shades. So I'm just going to go in with the lighter brown. It's kind of, it's, this has almost got a bit of a shimmer to it. I really like this. I feel like it's subtle, but it still gives you a little bit of something. And then this is the darker side. So if I was to go out in an evening and I wanted more of a kind of smoky eye look, I would use that, that side. Um, okay, lastly, we're going to go in with our mascara. So I have been using this Maybelline Sky High Mascara for ages. I'm quite fussy when it comes to mascaras because it all depends what the wand is like. I really like it when the wand is like this. So I don't like a brushy wand. Right, let me quickly do my lips and then I'm done. Okay, so the final part of my makeup is using Estee Lauder's. This is a double wear, 24 hour stay in place lip liner. And um, what you have on one side is a brush and on the other side you have the liner. So what I like to do is because obviously it's just daytime and I'm not going out, I'm not gonna put on like a bright lip. But what I like to do is I like to get the liner and just line my lip and then I get my Bellman's lip balm and I blend my lip liner into my lip a little bit or oh, let's undo this and that is me done for the day so I will list everything that I've used down below in my description box um, and you can obviously choose the different colors of what I have got to suit you but uh, this is kind of like a really simple makeup look it takes me about 15 minutes to do my makeup each morning if that I would say um, but yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video thank you to everyone who's been asking for me to make one of these because I really really love it when you guys request videos because I know you'll be interested in them when I come to create them um, but yeah that's me done Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks as always for watching and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.